So a few weeks back, a viewer asked what would happen if we switched the radiator fan from blowing out of the case of the NZXT H1 to blowing into the case. Now I'm going to run a couple of tests using Cinebench and Heaven 4.0. Keep in mind that Cinebench is going to max out the CPU temps. So it'll probably hover around 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. So what we're going to have to more so look at is the CPU frequencies and see just how well the CPU is performing at those temperatures uh, with the fan switched between blowing out and blowing in. Heaven 4.0 will probably be a little bit more realistic to gaming, so we'll look for any changes in GPU temperatures, although I'm going to be honest, I don't think there's going to be any, and we'll see how the CPU is performing with temperatures uh, just to compare between, you know, again, blowing out and blowing in. So here we have the NZXT H1. The radiator is located right here with the fan just behind the radiator. So with the fan blowing out of the case, what we're going to see is hot air coming out from here, and it's going to be trying to suck cold air from uh, somewhere in this case, and it'll mostly be coming from the back. There's no air to pull in from the front because there's this full glass display, but I do have a video coming out very soon. I have the custom display that I got, so we'll be doing tests with that. And in the back here, we have a grill, so there's holes for air to travel through. So this is where most of the cold air is going to be coming from. When we have the radiator fan flipped to blowing into the case, what we're going to see is that this is where most of the air is going to travel in from, and most of the hot air is going to come from the back here and exit out from here. Again, there's nothing, nowhere for it to exit from the front with this glass display. And because there's a metal panel that kind of splits the GPU from the rest of the computer, we're not really gonna get any hot air traveling across the case. The exhaust on this side of the case is really just for the GPU. In a future video, I'll also be doing these tests with this added on to the back where basically this clips in and we have additional fans in the back and I'm even going to be adding some to the front. So with that in mind, let's do a couple of tests with the radiator fan blowing out of the case and then we'll do some with the radiator fan blowing into and then we'll compare the two. Oh yeah, and one more thing to keep in mind is that I made no changes to the CPU um, in terms of like overclocking, underclocking, uh, so no voltage changes, anything like that. So this is basically all at stock with a 3900X. So let's begin with Cinebench, and we're gonna talk about the fan in versus the fan out. Now, I'll go through everything that I got first for fan in, and then I'll go over everything that I got for fan out, and we'll compare the two. I'm gonna talk about the fan speed, the clock speeds, the CPU temperature, and the GPU temperature. For Cinebench, GPU temperature isn't super relevant because it's not actually testing anything for it, but it does kind of indicate the case heat, and you'll see that in the GPU measurements that I have for Cinebench. So starting off with fan speeds, with the fan blowing into the case on Cinebench, we have fan speeds starting around 820-ish RPM, but picking up to about 1000 RPM, a little bit above it, uh, just as time goes on. Next up, we have our CPU temperatures. Now, as I mentioned before, because Cinebench is pushing the CPU to the max that it can go, we got about 95 degrees Celsius just throughout the whole entire graph. Nothing's gonna be really different for that for the fan blowing out either. Now let's talk about our CPU clock speeds, which as you can see from this graph, we have it probably starting around 3800 megahertz, but uh, towards the end, we're probably around 3700 megahertz, maybe a tiny bit below it, but I'd say we average around 3750 megahertz, which isn't too bad. And last but not least, we have our GPU temperatures, which again, like I said, not super relevant for Cinebench, but as you might be able to tell from this graph, I think the temperature of the case is just continuing to increase as the CPU is being used more and more. And so the GPU temperatures start to rise a little bit. It started around maybe 44, degrees Celsius and picks up to just underneath 60 degrees Celsius. But you know, this isn't like a realistic test case. It's more so just pushing the CPU to the max. So now let's talk about Cinebench with the fan blowing out of the case. First up, we have the uh, radiator fan speeds again. And as you can see, like the whole time, it's basically just underneath 1000 RPM. Honestly, pretty consistent. It doesn't look too bad. And like I mentioned earlier, the CPU temperature is just hover around 95 degrees Celsius. Nothing too big that we've seen yet. That all changes when we look at the CPU clock speeds. So as you can see, it starts off probably around 3700 megahertz, so a little bit lower than what our 
uh, fan blowing in readings gave us. And as it reaches towards the end of the benchmark, you can see that we are getting very close to just hitting 3,500 megahertz. Honestly, not really great. Like we probably were getting maybe 200 megahertz higher uh, readouts with the fan blowing into the case. And I think part of this is just that uh, the CPU fan blowing in gives us a little bit of a cooler PC in general and it blows a lot more of the hot air that's inside of the case out. And I think this kind of points towards that a little bit. So with our fan blowing into the case, we had temperatures starting for the GPU around 44 degrees Celsius and then getting to underneath 60 degrees Celsius. But then here with the radiator fan or CPU fan blowing out of the case, it starts above 50 degrees Celsius and gets above 60 degrees Celsius. So I think, again, this GPU temperature readout doesn't really matter for Cinebench, but it does matter in showing that the heat inside of the case is just not really going anywhere. It's just kind of st lingering around. Um, when the fan is just blowing out. Now, I consider this an overall win for Cinebench with the fan blowing into the case. And also, if you look at the scores that this actually received on the multi-core test for Cinebench, then you'll see that with the fan blowing in, we got a score of about 16,825 points. And with the fan blowing out of the case, we got around six, 16,200. But now let's talk about Heaven 4.0, which might be a little bit more realistic in terms of gaming. So here we actually got some interesting results. So let's talk about that. So with Heaven 4.0 and the radiator fan blowing into the case, the radiator fan speed was probably around 1,000, like, 50 RPM or something like that. It was basically just stuck. And our CPU temperatures weren't too bad. It was around 75 degrees Celsius on average, but as you can see, it starts around 70-ish, a little bit higher, and then ends around 80 degrees Celsius, a little bit lower. And for our GPU, just to, you know, also bring in case heat and all that uh, jazz, we saw temperatures start around 60, but immediately jump up just underneath 80 degrees Celsius, and then basically hovers around 80 degrees Celsius the entire test. Now, if we compare this to the fan blowing out, we first start off with the fan speeds again, and this just is a lot higher than with the fan blowing into the case. So it does start around um, 1000 RPM again, but then it uh, boosts up to 1200 RPM, a little bit higher. And I feel like if you were continuously gaming, I think it would continue to increase as the temperatures in the case continue to go up. And I think we see this with our CPU temperatures as well, where it starts off around 80 degrees Celsius um, after picking up from uh, the start of the benchmark. And then it just continues to stay there and then goes up to like 90 degrees Celsius by the end of the test. And our GPU temperatures are pretty similar as well. You can see that it stays just underneath 80 degrees Celsius almost the entire time. So honestly, the GPU temperatures don't change. The clock speeds may be changing. I'm not sure I wasn't you know, really tracking that, but uh, as you can see, our temperatures inside of the case took a pretty big hit. Now, the one thing that does make this a little bit weird though, is that our Heaven 4.0 readout for the fan blowing out of the case actually scored higher than when our heaven than the heaven 4.0 benchmark with the seat with the fan blowing into the case we saw a drop of about 10 frames per second and like 300 points off of our score i'm not really sure if this was because of our you know temperatures or if, uh, maybe it was just my gpu so that's something I'd have to do some further testing on, but I don't think it was a direct cause of flipping the fan. I think it was probably something else. Now, another interesting thing I noticed while doing my testing was that at idle, the CPU was about 10 degrees Celsius lower with the radiator fan blowing into the case than out. So there's another benefit towards having it set up like that. So through all of those tests, I think we can confidently say that overall, there is a benefit to having the radiator fan blow into the case. And I think that we can see that through most of our benchmarks. We did have that one benchmark that had about 10 frames per second lower in Heaven 4.0 with the radiator fan blowing into the case. Now, I don't know if that was necessarily because of the CPU and the radiator fan, or if it was just my GPU. More importantly, we saw that with the radiator fan blowing into the case, the CPU performed better when under high stress, such as with the Cinebench benchmark, where we saw that the CPU clock speed stayed around 3.7 gigahertz, as opposed to when the radiator fan was blowing out, 
and it just kept dropping towards 3.5 gigahertz. We also saw slightly different temperature readouts when uh, running Heaven 4.0 and while I didn't measure this in terms of noise, I did notice that it was a bit quieter with the fan blowing into the case. And I think that's probably because the temperatures were just generally lower with the fan blowing into the case. If you all enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you watching and sticking around to the end. I hope that the viewer who requested this video enjoyed it and that was helpful. And if you'd like to see more like this, then definitely subscribe. Let me know down in the comments and like this video. I have more stuff coming soon. I just haven't been able to make that many videos recently. So my next two videos will be about replacing the front panel here and measuring the temperatures like that and seeing how well that affects this case and also adding those fans that I showed you guys earlier. I think that one will really lead to some cool results. I've already tested it out a bit myself and it's pretty sick. Um, so I will show you guys how to set all of that up in the future video. It should be out pretty soon. So definitely stick around and I hope to see you all there. Peace.